Hi, and welcome to Animal Zone. I'm Arthur von Wiesenberger, and this handsome fellow is Mikey, my adopted pit bull. Animal Zone is the A to Z on everything about adoptable pets. Whether you're looking for a bird, a cat, a dog, or even a tortoise, we've got experts who can share their knowledge and insights. So cuddle up with your favorite critter and join us as we explore the Animal Zone. Mikey, guess what? Today we're going to go to the birds at the Santa Barbara Bird Sanctuary. Then it's off to school as we join some preschoolers as they learn about some of the fundamentals about dogs. Yeah, at the Santa Barbara Humane Society. The pet psychic, Laura Stinchville, will be talking to you, Mikey, and we'll find out what's on your mind. Join us as we explore the Animal Zone. Bonjour, Alex. Bonjour, Renaud. Happiness? It's great food prepared the French way. Chocolate eclair. What makes you happy? A touch of Paris. Without the trip to France. Handcrafted daily in our bakeries, especially for you. Indulge yourself. Bon appétit. Please visit Renault's in Gelson, Santa Barbara, Long Beach, and La Cañada, Flint Ridge. Santa Barbara Humane Society is an independent, local, community-based nonprofit with adoptable animals ready to find a forever home today. At the Santa Barbara Humane Society, we provide low-cost spay and neuter services and vaccinations. It's important for your dogs and cats to get vaccinated to prevent illnesses, and spay and neuter surgeries help prevent unwanted pregnancies and can benefit the health of your pet. At the Santa Barbara Humane Society, we want you to adopt, not chop. Today we're at the Santa Barbara Bird Sanctuary in Summerlin, California. And you might be able to hear, I think they're ready to see us. Maybe Polly's got a cracker for us. Let's go in and check it out. Well, we're here at Animal Zone today at the Santa Barbara Bird Sanctuary with founder Jamie McLeod and a host of beautiful birds. It's a cacophony of cockatoos and macaws and ferrets. <laughs> now you have a lot of characters here. Tell me a little bit, well first of all this one seems to have a lot to say and she's looking well, she's, a little bit shaky. She's flirting with you and she's shaky because she's feeling excited and hormonal, Arthur. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's that time. This is Doodle. Hi, Doodle. And she has quite a story. She was actually abandoned and left in front of the Santa Barbara Zoo. Oh. There was a note on her cage that said, please help me, Doodle. So the only thing we know about her is that her name is Doodle. And she had chewed a hole in her chest the size of a golf ball. It's called self-mutilation. And this is um, an example of when they become mature and they're unable to fulfill these innate needs, it can often manifest in feather picking and self-mutilation. They kind of equate it to cutting. So she doesn't wear this cute little outfit for looks or fashion, even though she thinks she's quite the runway model. Um, it's made of Kevlar, and it actually prevents her from continuing to mutilate herself. Uh, and will her feathers grow back? You know, because it's very hard to tell their age, my intuition tells me that she feather picked herself for so long that the follicles no longer work and no longer form feathers. 
She's courting you, by the way, Arthur. I know. I'm, yeah. I'm saying you're gorgeous. You're yeah. beautiful. And we've, with all the rain that we had this year, um, it actually signifies to these wild animals that there will be plenty of food in the future to feed potential offspring. So the rain stimulates them to go into a breeding cycle. So she's hoping you and she can make a nest or something like that, Arthur. <laughs> be a heck of a bird. Um, let me ask you a question. Do you have any baby birds that end up here? No, not normally. People often, they're, they're wonderful when they're babies. Yeah. Just like a chimp is. Yeah. And they're cute. And then once they get mature, they develop problematic behavior, whether it be noise, destruction, feather picking or mutilating. And that's when people either decide the bird isn't happy or because they form a mate bond with a person, Quite frequently, if you have a mate already, it will become their life's goal to seek, maim, and drive your mate out of the house. Ooh. So it's not like they're a great family pet because they'll form a mate bond with one person that can be rather exclusive. So, uh, because they, they in, the, in the wild, they mate for life, don't they? They do, indeed they do. And they reproduce very slowly, which is why they have these lengthy lifespans of 80 and in some cases up to 100 years. Mm, That's a heck of a commitment, don't you think? Sure is. Yeah. yeah, but you know, she does have a cute outfit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, other birds like minor birds, they, they, they imitate people. Yes, I actually voices. knew one that had lived in somebody's bathroom and it cracked me up when the bird said, Whoosh! <laughs> It's a flushing toilet, oh, right? Oh, of course, yeah. Now, you have, you have uh, so many wonderful birds here, and some of them do have some special talents. Yes, they? they do, indeed. You have a uh, talking bird, singing birds, we dancing do. birds. Yes, Babu, Babu's always ready to dance. Go, Bob. Oh, he's ah. calling the dog now. Is that, is that how you call a dog? Yeah. Babu, dance. Dance for me. Go, Bob. And that one can whistle, and that one can scream, this one can squeal. Everybody's got a specific talent. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. So, and how do you teach a bird to do something? Well, you know, quite often they, they love emotion and any kind of animated interaction. And so they'll learn just by listening. So you kind of have to be careful what you say. We have one bird here, he's prejudiced. He's a macaw and he only likes Hispanic people and he speaks Spanish. And when the birds get noisy, he'll say, Cállate! He'll talk, and he knows the staff by name. And he's taught other birds to know the staff's name. Wow. We've got lots of feathered friends here for you to make friends with. Now you had one bird that was uh, challenging another bird as far as the best dancer on, on YouTube, I think. Oh, right. that would be Bobby Houdini. That's your friend over there. Bobby, you were, you're yeah. a dancer too. He is a dancer. All right. And you have a beautiful book. We Tell do. us about the book. The book is a gorgeous book called Avian Ambassadors of the Santa Barbara Bird Sanctuary. And one of our friends of the flock is an amazing photographer. That's you on the cover. And look, there you are again. He's all, I've got to check this out. What do you think? So it's a really stunning book. And Howard Morris, the photographer, did this book as a fundraising tool to help us get back on our feet after the Thomas fire. There's Buddha. Buddha. Yeah. Wow. And so we've got a lot of our feathered friends. There you are again, Babu. Beautiful photograph. Yes, the photography is stunning and it tells each bird's story. And Arthur's not a dog. Don't call him like the dog. Roof, 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 roof. Hello. <laughs> That's another one of our macaws, Scarlet. Now some of the birds are adoptable here and others are permanent residents, like mm -hmm. Bobby Houdini! Whee! Where are you? Come here, mister. Bobby, hi. We're talking about you. Look, here you are. Here you are. Yeah, you know Babu's gonna pinch your butt. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, you can actually go to our website, which is svbird.org, and there's a link there where people, for $50, they make a donation, they get the book, and a link to a documentary that was done about my work with the birds called Under Her Wing. And it was actually in the 2018 Santa Barbara International Film Festival. So that was pretty awesome. So 
It's really a, a stunning book, and Babu is quite the character. And if people want to come and visit the Santa Barbara Bird Sanctuary, you're open? We are. The only day of the week we're closed is Tuesdays. And um, we ask for a small donation for admission, and that helps us feed the flock. Fantastic. Yeah. And right here in Summerlin, California, who would have guessed? Yeah. That's fantastic. It's off of the birds. <laughs> Jamie, thank you for having us today. Oh, thank you. We wonderful. have enjoyed sharing all of my feathered friends with you. It's terrific. And uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got more Animal Zone. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Stanick. I'm a lecturer at Cal Poly, and you are watching Animal Zone. Hey, take a look at these loving animals that you can adopt today. And don't worry. If someone beats you to the shelter, there are plenty more wonderful animals ready to find you and their forever home. Every morning you could count on it being there with the rise of the sun. We're proud to say we've been there every day with you. The Santa Barbara News Press plans to continue sharing the news of the day with you all through the year and beyond. It's nice to know there are some things you can still count on. The Santa Barbara News Press, serving Santa Barbara since 1855. Subscribe today. Call 1-800-654-3292. The Santa Barbara County Animal Care Foundation is dedicated to saving animals' lives, but we need your help to continue this critical work. SBCACF provides year-round medical and surgical care so that abandoned, homeless, or abused animals receive the best second chance at finding a loving home. No animal is turned away from surgical care. To learn more and assist us in keeping that pledge, visit sbcanimalcare.org and make a donation today. If they can be saved, we want to save them! Today on Animal Zone, we're going to go to school at the Santa Barbara Humane Society. They have an education center that's going to teach us all about dogs. So let's go in and check it out. Do we know how to take care of our pets at home? Yeah. So if someone else is walking their dog and you don't know that person and you don't know that dog, do you know how to go up and pet the dog? Can everyone make a four? And you want to hide your thumb with your fingers. So that makes sure all your fingers are protected in case there's an accident and they might bite. Go like this and let them sniff, okay? And then you'll see the whiskers wiggle and the nose wiggle. And then you can pet the dog on the shoulder, near the shoulders. You go like this a couple of times, shoulder to tail, right? Shoulders to tail. And you say, okay, thank you. And you walk away. Whitney, that was a great class. I really Thank learned you. a lot. Yes. And can I please touch your dog? Yes, you may. Indy. 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 Hi. There's the nose wiggles. Oh yes, you're such a sweet like, dog. I know the routine. <laughs> Indy is such a patient dog. I mean, all those kids came and petted him, and yes. he seemed to just tolerate it, and actually seemed to enjoy it. Yeah, I uh, make sure that he gets his wiggles out before we go to school or have a presentation, so that his energy is, is much calmer and he can be more focused. Now how do you get a dog to get all that energy out beforehand? Do you have to run him around? Or? Yeah, run him around, let him play the chase um, with ball or he can chase me, hide and seek, any of that stuff. So he, um, his favorite is I think a knotted chew toy that, you know, it's like this big rope thing and then you can just throw it. So as long as you're exercising, mm -hmm. like, like what you said, yes. exercise, shelter, food. Yes. Yeah. I, it's I, just a matter of, of, of teaching them, isn't it, really? It is. Um, when I do go into classrooms, I know that it's always exciting when there's um, a pet and the, and the teachers are a big help. 
Do you think any of the kids are going to come back with their parents in a few days? I hope so. And maybe adopt a pet? That would be great. It'd be I a hope nice, so. nice yeah. result, wouldn't it? That would be wonderful. Well, at least they know how wonderful this facility is. Yes. And not only just for adopting animals, but also learning about animals. Yes. And of course, uh, animal welfare. So thank you so much for having us today on Animal Zone. Thank you for, really for visiting us. That's wonderful. Great. And Indy, thank you. And thank you for watching. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we've got more Animal Zone. Hey, take a look at these loving animals that you can adopt today. And don't worry, if someone beats you to the shelter, there are plenty more wonderful animals ready to find you and their forever home. Care for Paws was started in 2009 with the goal to reduce pet overpopulation and keep animals out of shelters and also to ensure that pets can stay with their owners for life. We from the get-go established a free spay and neuter program that would help low-income pet owners fix their pets. So we provide shots, microchips, dewormer, flea treatment. We also have a veterinary intervention program. It's a way for us to help improve the quality of life for the animal as well for the owner because when an animal suffers in the family, so does the rest of the family. did an amazing job. I'm very proud of you. So now we're going to go on a tour. But everybody has to be quiet and everybody has to make sure your hands, you can't touch the animals because they've been eating and they're trying to sleep, some of them, and we don't want to disturb them, okay? Look at, see this? It says dogs and cats, right? So there's the dogs go in and that's where the cats go in. And this is our clinic. This is where our veterinarian, our doctor, takes care of the dogs and cats when they get sick or if they need some surgery. So they all get taken care of every day by our, by our clinic staff and our doctor, our veterinarian. So who wants to be a veterinarian when they grow up? Oh, we've got a couple. Great. You guys can come work here when you get older. Okay? You want to? Awesome. So here's what you have to do. You have to be really nice to animals, learn about animals, and get good grades in school. Okay? You can do that. All right, so this is where our doctor is, but we're going to go see the animals now. So let's keep walking this way. This is a very small room with cats. I just want to do a walk around and then we'll come right back. But please make sure that fingers don't go in cages. Um, cats can get overstimulated and they're just getting, they're just finishing up all their cleaning and stuff this morning before we're open for adoption. Say hi, Duke. Duke is a very, very handsome boy and he's a very good dog. So he's, every now and then, the dogs that are in the kennels, they get to come play out here. And then I'm gonna show you our big recess yard in the back where the dogs get to run around and play. And we have people come here and volunteer and they help us walk the dogs and take the dogs out. So our dogs get exercise probably more than most kids or humans do. So we have a lot going on here, it's great. Do you guys like to move your body? Like to dance and stuff and do the wiggles? Yeah, dogs like to do that too. So we have to make sure that we get them out there and make sure they move their bodies and they use their noses and their eyes and their ears. It's very important for animals to use all parts of their body, okay? You guys are awesome. How many want to have my job when you grow up? Yeah? Okay. I have a lot of competition. So I want to say thank you. You guys did great. You're amazing. I hope you, I hope you learned a lot today how to take care of the animals. Did you all learn a lot today about the dogs and cats? Yes, good, good. 
because we really appreciate you and the dogs and cats, they say thank you for coming to visit. We absolutely love that. So you guys can come back anytime and visit. And when you get a little bit older, you can come volunteer and work with us. How's that sound? Good? Okay. The Santa Barbara Humane Society is really excited about all the humane ed programs that we offer. We work with children in the schools, from the preschools to the junior high schools. We bring children here for tours because the children need to learn about the human-animal bond and how important animals are in our lives as we grow older and as the animals grow older. They learn about adoption. They learn about how to treat the animals when they're adopted. They learn about volunteering at a young age, and that's so important. We have other programs here where we actually do dog and puppy training because we can train the humans, but we also need to train the animals. And the other thing that we have that is so dear to my heart is our pet therapy program where we take pets out into senior living facilities so that those in senior homes can actually still have that bond and connection with the pet that they might not have any longer in their life. And to watch the joy and the smile on the seniors' faces when they know that that's the day the pet is coming in is just the best heartfelt feeling that you can have. So our humane education programs touch everything from the young children to the seniors. And we're all here about the human-animal bond and it's a wonderful thing to be a part of. My grandfather taught me about the beauty of the rugs. Each one tells a story. Story about the person who wove it, the person who bought it, the person who inherits it, the person who treasures it. It's amazing how simply looking at an object can bring you back to a different place and time or remind you of someone you love. At Santa Barbara Design Center, we want to help you find a rug that will travel through time with your family for generations to come. Visit us at 410 Oliver Street and find your treasure today. Water, the essence of life, flowing from Mother Earth, gathering essential minerals, trace elements and vitality as it journeys to the surface, collected fresh and pure from springs around the world, each one as unique as a fingerprint. The world's best bottled waters are waiting for you at bottledwaterweb.com. Imagine, if you will, a zone. A zone where animals can talk to humans. Submitted for your amazement, the pet psychic, as we enter the animal zone. Today we're here with Laura Stinchfield, the pet psychic, and the wonderful Mikey, the pit bull, oh, my baby. <laughs> And uh, it's so great to be back with you. Thanks it's for coming great on. Great to be back with you. And he's thrilled to see you too. Oh my gosh, yeah. he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he has some questions for you, and I have some questions for okay, you. Okay, so, shoot. You know, well, one of the questions, I mean, everybody who has dogs probably asks this question once in a while. You know, does the dog love me or does the dog just love treats? <laughs> So, Mikey, what do you think? Do you love Daddy just for food, or is there another reason why you love Daddy? Do you love your dad for many reasons? Oh, he says what he loves most about you is your kindness for the world. So, what else do you love Dad about? So Mikey says that what he also loves about you is not just that you care about how people are doing, but if someone's not doing well, you feel sensitive in your heart and you get concerned about them. Well, that's, that's, sweet. that's sweet. Do you that's, feel like that's true? I, I think it is. I mean, I, I, I do care about people, animals. Yeah. Just about everything. And, uh, you know, we were talking earlier about how, um, how we talk to our dogs yeah. and our pets. You know, I talk to the cats, I talk to the dogs, I talk to the donkeys. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what I, I try to explain when I'm going away, especially if I'm going out of town for a few days, mm -hmm. is that I'm going to be gone for a certain number of sunsets and sunrises. That's right. Because I figure That's they good. don't have a watch, they don't have an Apple watch. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know what time it is. So if you do the light 
that, that's a good way for them to it is out. a great way to do that yeah so the sun rising and sun setting for as many days as you'll be gone and then picture yourself happily coming back yes and then also picture yourself being happy while you are gone so they're not worried about you that's a good point mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and when you're away if you just take a moment and think about them and send them love and you could picture the sun rising and setting too also while you're gone they'll pick that up or you could show them in your head like where you are, things that you're seeing or doing, and they'll understand that as well, even from a distance. Because I, I imagine, deep down inside, pets don't really want to be separated from, from their guardians, from their... Parents. No, because you are like a pack, yeah. yeah. They like to be with you. But if you have a great pet sitter, you know, it's, it's fun for them too. So I think it's really important for people, especially when they have a young dog, or to really get them used to having a, a community of people that take care of them so that you can travel throughout your life and not feel bad, that they still are having fun while you're gone. Pit bulls are amazing dogs. I can say that firsthand. Yeah, so Mikey, what do you think about pit bulls and like the reputation that they have? You think it's sad, the reputation that pit bulls have? How come? It's because you feel like you really are gentle giants? Oh, Mikey says he's really awesome and everybody should know how awesome he is. I agree, bud, <laughs> I do. He says the sad thing about those mean pit bulls is that they had trauma. You might be right about that. Oh, and he says those mean put bulls, dads are jerks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the people make them mean. That know, could be you, true too. He kind of came from a tough place. He came from a place where they people were breeding them to be fighting oh, dogs. Oh, so luckily he knows. he was rescued before that. So he knows. Yeah. And he knows firsthand. Yeah, you know, you know, you went through a hard time, didn't you? But you, right? And you had all those injuries and you were recovering and he's just a good boy. Yeah. He's a good dog. You want to say something else? Ooh, that's a good idea. He says that he should be on every episode and that he should have Mikey's Corner. <laughs> <laughs> a star is born, right? A star is born. You're so funny. That's Nancy. cute. Oh, yeah. You want to put it there? Okay. We'll just put it in, we're going to put it in writing. He's going to give right. us his uh, photograph. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, this has been so much fun, Laura. Thank you so much. And Mikey thanks you, right? And uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we got more Animal Zone right here. Stay tuned. Sometimes scary things happen, like fires and floods, and suddenly a family has lost everything. That's why the Unity Shop has a disaster assistance program. We help families with immediate needs like food, clothing, and household items, and we continue to help them long term until they're back on their feet and in their homes. But it takes a whole community to make this possible. Please, donate today so we can help everyone who needs us. Find out how you can help at unityshop.org. Bonjour Alex. Bonjour Renaud. Happiness? It's great food prepared the French way. Chocolate eclair. What makes you happy? A touch of Paris. Without the trip to France. Handcrafted daily in our bakeries especially for you. Indulge yourself. Bon appétit. Please visit Renaud's in Gelson, Santa Barbara, Long Beach, and La Cañada, Flint Ridge. Hi, I'm Carrie Burns, and I'm the Executive Director for the Santa Barbara Humane Society. And what we want you to know is that humane societies are local to each community. No one is associated with the National Humane Society. So when you donate or you adopt, know that everything that you touch is right there in your own backyard. We want you to donate, volunteer, and adopt. For more information, visit sbhumanesociety.org. some amazing animals and guests. You know, you who adopt animals from shelters, you are the true heroes. If you want to see more about Animal Zone and other things, check out our website, animalzone.org. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Never was a friend so true. Never was a friend like you. Canine, you're my best friend. Canine of mine for all time so glad you're my best friend through thick and thin we'll see things
rings through Canine of mine so true Did I find you or did you find me? Either way it's still serendipity When I saw you it was plain to see You weren't just another lassie wanna be oh canine of mine Friend for all time I'm so glad you're my best friend.